ready to leave when you are, Commander. The Phoenix Dawn is set to sail. Glad you could join us, Commander. Thanks. How's the crew? Ship's prepped, aid supplies are in the hull, and we've got a Lion Guard squad for security. Hop aboard and we'll shove off. But the crew? You can speak freely. Well, some people, not me, are a little anxious. There are mixed feelings about fighting a god. We have our orders. If you listen to the refugees' stories, it's pretty obvious whatever Balthazar's doing over there is a catastrophe. He was determined to take a dragon's power. I guess he's turned his attention to Krakatorik. And apparently doesn't care whose neck he has to step on to get the job done. When you stop to think about it, this is a god who turned against us. It's hard to swallow. I suppose we'll just have to stop him from killing it and get ourselves some answers. Oh, don't even get me started on sparing the dragons. Believe me, I'm still coming to terms with it too. Hopefully Timey can prove it, and soon. Then I'll hold my tongue on that and let you focus on Balthazar and his forged. <laughs> let me guess. It's what the refugees call his army. Tough customers by the sound of it. An army? Wonder where that came from. Only one place you'll find an answer. A diplomatic team is already on the ground in Amnoon. I'd start with them. Will do. You sure you're ready to follow me into the fire? It's where we do our best work. Good. Off to the furnace, then. Doesn't look like we made it to Amnoon. Sorry for the change of plans, but we saw smoke coming from that pyramid. Kiel gave us orders, so we're going in. to stay on board. We'll get you to Amnoon as soon as we get back. I didn't come this far to sightsee. I'm going with you. could sink at any moment that came from inside Turn me they're killing for sport 
These must be the forged we heard about. Let's wait for that introduction until after we're done. Enforcements incoming! Wait, it's only one unit! Welcome to the desert, Commander. And you are? Balthazar's Herald. And I have an offer for you. He has chosen to forgive you for your interference with the Fire and Ice Dragons. Join him and fill the Crystal Dragon. He only wants to free Tyria from their grasp. Your god lies. And waging war on these people won't help you defeat the dragon. Wrong choice! Invigorate! position here and help these people. I'm going after her. But that's exactly what she wants. I know. I'll be fine. Be ready for any other survivors I send your way. Aye, Commander. Thank you, but of noble intentions. But that Balthazar chose me as his 
his instrument. Are you just a puppet? You have a choice. No. The choice was made for me. These monsters are destroying our entire village. Help us! There's little I hold in higher regard than royalty. This is the price of defiance. The world belongs to Balthazar now. the shield. I'll find you again soon. My friends will take it from here. They're gone? Oh, thank you. I need to get through that gate. I, I... Okay, I'll just... Oh, I... If it's down, she must have smashed it on her way through. I can gather whoever's left to get the gate open, but you have to help us. The town's burning out of control. Of course, but... Maybe you should hang back. Yes, please. Huxine, your leg doesn't look good. I can't just sit here. It's okay. We'll handle this. You're helping by helping me. Fine, fine, just please don't let the entire village burn to the ground. Help the survivors. The raptors will get you to anyone who's out of reach. Got it. And you? I'm fine. I'll stay with my brother. Okay. Shout if you need anything. Commander, I've got something that might help with those fires. Here, take this. You carry a fire extinguisher with you. Well, Kiel said we should bring insurance for the voyage. <laughs> the 
raptor's trapped by flames around its pen. Can you? Over there. That's it. Climb into the saddle while it's calm. Thank you. You've done us a great service, man. You have our gratitude, stranger. We'll be in our prayers tonight. Thing you showed up. The Amnoon Cavaliers can't protect us from the forge. Cormir has answered our prayers. Bless you. Looks like the raptor's taken to you. Keep it. For your help. Are you sure? One less raptor is the least of our problems. Thanks. It'll help you cover ground faster. <laughs> You'll need it. The mine gate is operational again. Go through there. It'll take you to Amnoon. And Outlander, please pay this tragedy back for us. I will.
Get the card. We'll bury him at dawn. Outlander? Yes, from across the Sea of Sorrows. I'm here to stop Balthazar. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, you're serious? Then a hi, and welcome. That would be quite an appreciated feat. Have you seen his herald? An armored woman. Didn't come this way. Hmm. No sign of her. Try Amnoon. Lots of folks are going there. Take the road south and you'll hit it. I'll check it out. See what help I can find. Come on. Hearing you. Some interference. Try get higher ground if you can. Higher ground? Oh, right. If you can hear me, I'll try to reach you later. Repeat, I'll try to reach you later. Hello? I'm just going to assume you heard that. Halt! What's your business in Amnoon? In case you haven't noticed, there's a mob of people trying to get in. I was told a party from Divinity's Reach is here. I need to speak with them. Also, a village north of here was attacked. My crew is helping the survivors, but they could use Amnoon's support. Hmm. Wait here while I clear this with the Council. Captain Raheem, I can vouch for the Commander. This is the leader of the guild I told you about. There's a welcome sight. This is the Dragon Slayer. Oh, it wasn't a solo effort, but yeah. The Commander's taken down one or two. Ritlock? What... Kaz, you're here on behalf of the Queen? Uh, correct. But just a moment. Captain, does the Commander have permission to enter? Yes, a high Commander. Catch up with your friends and come see me at the Cavalier Station. We should talk. Tiny tried to reach you before I left. Now I understand why she didn't have any luck. It was a spur-of-the-moment decision. I had to get here and see it for myself. I hope you consulted Marjorie about that after you... How have you two been since Rotanobis? Uh, good. Fine. Uh, it's, uh, it's okay. 
could be better, but she's still recovering, so... Well, I'm glad you're here. We'll need all the help we can get. I can't believe one of the gods we worship, one of the six, just gave up on us. Doesn't care. It, it doesn't feel right. You have faith and hope, and I respect that. But I was in that volcano with him. He was ready to let all of Tyria turn to ash. What he did to Marjorie. I know. I've heard it from her over and over. My mind says it too, but... It's hard to walk away from a lifetime of devotion. Of being raised to thank the Six, say by the Six, and worship the Six. Okay, Kaz. I hope you're right. And I hope your eyes aren't opened as brutally as mine were. It's good to see you. And your eyes. All right, all right. Try not to fall in love. What happened to your blindfold? A temporary measure to help me focus. But I got used to the voices in my head, so I tossed it. Well, I'm glad you're here, Tribune. Can I still call you that? Yep, all cleared up. And? The Citadel wanted to report on my faux fire mission and the, the magic. Who am I to deny them a great tale? And? It's classified, Commander. Sorry. You've been holding out on me ever since our fight in Maguma. This is the last time I'll take no for an answer. Now I wish I had my blindfold to dab your tears. We're gonna kill a god or what? Sorry for the gate earlier. I get all kinds of people in here, and the stories they tell to get inside. Not that I blame them, but the city can only take so many before bursting. So, I take it you're here for Balthazar. I am. I'm looking for a place to start. Any information you have would be helpful. Hmm. Well, your guildmates are being hosted by the chief counselor at the Civic Center. She can fill you in about the state of the city and the surrounding area. She might know something about Balthazar, too. Sounds good. Anything from the ground level? Someone who's dealt with him or his army firsthand? My deputy Ayu was at the camp run by Komir's priesthood. The refugees there may be of help. And then there's... Hmm. How do you feel about getting a little lower than ground level to find what you want? I have a deputy assigned to the local smugglers, the Hamasine. Name a case. Not so sure he's mine anymore, but you might seek him out, if you don't mind walking on that side of the line, of course. I think I can stomach it. You'll find them at the casino. Tread lightly. Reports of creatures driven insane by lay energy are coming from all over.
Commander. Your guildmates were just regaling us with tales of your adventures. You honor us. It's not every day a Dragon Slayer walks through our door. The Counselor must have misunderstood my part of the story, or she wouldn't be bending over backward to inflate your ego. Well, thank you for the compliment. But this time, I'm not after a dragon. I'm after Balthazar. Do you have any information on his whereabouts? The god himself? We only know he's constantly on the move, chasing who knows what. And that Amnun is essentially surrounded by his troops, which maybe you have some insight into. We're at a bit of an impasse. Joko's government sent representatives of the Morden Crescent to Amnun to offer military support against the Forged. The Morden Crescent may no longer be the honorable Sunspears they once were, but they would make powerful allies. And in a time like this, we need all the help we can get. You people have history books? Open any one of them and it'll tell you short-term gains bring long-term trouble. The Chief Counselor has the right idea. We should be grateful the Mordant Crescent are even considering helping us. We should fly Joko's standard and make it clear we welcome his kingdom's support. We've resisted Joko for years. I'm not about to let him waltz in. And without a fight? Never. It's nonsense. Our only option is to align ourselves with Cormier's priesthood and the remaining Sun Spears. Allying with either side will only lead to future conflict. Amnon has been independent, and should remain independent. <sighs> and round and round it goes. I'd welcome any counsel you might have, Commander. It's easy for your char friend to dismiss the threat we face. Joko is nobody's first choice, but we can't afford to turn down the Archon's offer. The Mordant Crescent are the only ones with the strength to ensure our survival. The Sun Spear's numbers are weakened, but their involvement could still be a beacon of hope. Their order has sacrificed everything to defy Joko and the Mordant Crescent. They'll protect us from the Forge. Amnun must remain independent. Our doors have always been open. It's how we survived this long. The moment we pick a side, we're asking for trouble from the others. And you, Counselor? You're awfully quiet over there. There are no good options here. All of these plans are suicidal. I can't endorse any of them. Spear Marshal Cormier was a local hero, even before she fought a fallen god and took his power. Her Sun Spears have always encouraged these people to keep fighting, even when darkness is closing in. They may be a small group now, but an alliance with the Sun Spears would be the light in the dark this city needs. These people should just look out for themselves. The minute these yapping windbags let a creature like Joko into this city, they give up any hope of freedom. He might be the biggest gun around here, but what happens after the Forged are defeated? Every decision you make has a cost. In this case, all the people have to do is serve Joko forever after they die. What a deal!
Thank you for your input, Commander. I tend to agree. We'll continue to fly our own flag. And Noon will face the Forged as a free city, with gates open to all. A council actually making a practical and timely decision? <laughs> Call the town crier. This has to be a first. At least the Sun Spears are still welcome. King Joker will make sure we regret this decision. You... You just killed us all! May Cormir forgive us. Thank you, Chief Counselor. Commander. A moment, Commander? These people are desperate. Caught up in a war they don't understand. Balthazar came to the desert for Krakator, not for them. But why? Why is he doing it? This is why I wanted you to pick the Sun Spears, to represent Cormir. She might guide us to answers or intervene in Balthazar's actions, especially if his goal is noble, but his path is not. Your hope is inspiring. Thanks. Have you heard from Tiny? I couldn't get a clear signal. Guess I should try again. I have some big news to share. There must be some place that's clear of interference. I'll look once I've finished gathering information. What do you want? You, Kais? Maybe. Mm -mm. Who's asking? Captain Rahim sent me. He's under the impression that you have access to Hamasin's network. <gasps> yeah? He's wrong. So beat it. Listen carefully, friend. I'm here to kill the god of war. Don't think I won't swat any flies that get in my way. Well, if that's your angle, then you need Zalambor. He runs things. He is the Homocene's network. He's usually in his office in the casino, but he's a very busy man. I'm sure he'll spare a few moments for me. can't find locally, and I'll get you access to a vast kingdom of new customers. You must be Zalambor. I am. My friends, let's adjourn for now. In the meantime, my casino is yours. Enjoy the Grand Sahil's many luxuries. You spared me from a few more minutes of dealing with those smugglers. For this, I owe you. But next time, make an appointment. Maybe I should explain why I'm here. Oh, I know why you're here, Commander. What I don't know is what it's got to do with me. Elonian wine? I'll pass. You sure? It's not poisoned or anything. I'm offended, Salambor. You've never once offered me wine. Ah! I present to you Archon Iberu, of the Morden Crescent. Archon, the commanders come to us all the way from Lion's Arch. Mordant Crescent? One of Palawa Joko's undead? I'll be honored with awakening soon enough. But today I still have a pulse, Outlander. As I'm sure you're aware, 
Chief Counselor Iman invited me here to discuss military aid for M. Noon. And just as I arrive, I hear the Council has decided against the Alliance. It's not too late, Zalambor. Reverse this situation before it gets any more out of hand. Me? I wasn't even there when they made this decision. That's beside the point. Here's the point. Uh. What are you? My apologies for the unpleasantness, Commander. This is why I insist on appointments. Happy to help. Mainly because now you owe me. The fact that I'm still able to walk is a point in your favor for sure. And this time of war does make for strange bedfellows. Cormir knows I've had worse. I'm only after Balthazar, you understand. I can't be dragged down by whatever else you've got going on. My organization makes it possible for me to do many things. Fund public works, donate to our refugee guests, keep candle after candle burning at Cormir's temples. <sighs> I never wanted to cross the Morden Crescent, but I suppose it was inevitable. I'm grateful you were here for the Archon's Overture, so I'll keep an ear to the ground on your behalf.
Supply drops filled with gear and tools are just waiting for someone to go grab them for us. If you could assist us, we'd appreciate it. Cormir is blind to the troubles of our world. Cormir's moved beyond us. Balthazar sees you. Balthazar knows you. Serve him. Chains of your Deputy. false gods. Captain Rahim Join the ranks of the Zeishan Order. Would you mind if Do I talk to a few of your refugees is? about Balthazar? Ours is here. You're welcome to now. try. Not a lot of folks are in a talking mood. This camp's going to be no better than the places they fled if we can't get more aid out here soon. I'll see what I can do. Maybe people will be more inclined to talk when they feel safer. We certainly wouldn't say no to some help. Priestess Karima can tell you what we need most. Good fortune to you. <laughs> Balthazar sees you. Balthazar knows you. Serve him. Your gods have turned their backs on you. Balthazar has come back to save us all. You're very kind. Bless you. You're very kind. Thank Can you. Can you spare any water? Thanks! Thank you. I won't forget. May I have some water? Bless you. Thank you. Mir bless you. You're very kind. Thank I'm you. So thirsty. <gasps> What happened to you out in the desert? We very nearly didn't make it out alive. We escaped the salt flats right before a forged invasion. Balthazar has turned the whole desert upside down and... I'm sorry. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Excuse me. Can you tell me what happened to you? We fled north to escape Balthazar's forged. But they've been marching the same way lately. Up into the highlands. Oh, at this rate, we'll run out of places to retreat to in no time flat. What happened to you out in the desert? We were coming down from the highlands when we ran into a branded ambush. No one would have survived if Vlast hadn't flown in and saved us. Vlast? You know, the dragon? Lint's offspring. Don't you mean Gleam? 
Gleam was the name the bards gave him, but his true name is Vlast. He's a savior with wings. We owe him our lives. That's... that's the first Scion, Orin's brother. He's a good dragon. He carries on his mother's work. Cormir prays him. Where can I find him? No one knows where he roosts. He just shows up to contest the Branded. So, Orin has a brother. That's great news. I hope. Wait until Taimi he hears about this. Excuse me. Can you tell me what happened to you? I... We left a group hiding from forged attacks in Destiny's Gorge after walking out of the Elon Riverlands to the south. We thought we were in the clear, but... but we were followed. I, I had a chance to run, and I... I took it. I still hear the screams. I ran when it started, and... Oh, Dwayne, forgive me. I'm a coward. I should have died with them. No, you shouldn't have. And take heart. Balthazar will pay for this. Looks like I'm done here. Now to see if I can reach Taimi. Hmm. She said higher ground. You're very kind. Thank Please. you. Please. Do you have any food? Keep fighting. Without us, our city will starve. Thank you. I won't forget this. <sighs> You're very kind. Thank Please. you. Please. Do you have any food? Thank you. I won't forget this. Jaime, do you read? Come in. Oh, I must not be getting a signal. I'm here, Commander. I read you. Glad you made it to the Crystal Desert in one piece. You are in one piece, right? So far. Did you duke it out with the fire guy yet? What's happening? Update. Update now. 
Balthazar's got the desert in chaos. I'm trying to find the shortest route to him to... Well, you know. But I think the biggest news I've heard is a story about a dragon, Vlast. Supposedly, he's another scion of Glint, Aurene's brother. What? Tell me all about him! What's his height, wingspan, powers? Did he eat anybody in front of you? I haven't met him yet, but I'll let you know. How are things in Rata Novus? It's hard to change people's minds with conjecture, so I'm trying to prove that killing dragons isn't ideal. I'm also trying to get all the Dragon Lab info into Scruffy so I can become more mobile. It's a madhouse in the lab now! They're giving tours! Tours! Ugh. Speaking of which, here comes one now. Check back in when you get a chance. Ah, recognition! you 